God damn. Good morning, man. What's up? You think you can make it into my driveway? What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you once again for tuning in. Today, we are finally gonna get around to installing these Brembos. If you guys saw in the last video, I painted them and now they're ready to go on the car. And I have my buddy Fee with me here. Look at this freaking good looking ass man right here. <laughs> but have you ever seen these kind of TE37s though? You might have seen them in one of my videos before at a meet. These are freaking beautiful custom. Isn't it crazy how when I saw you at the meet earlier this year, you were talking about me doing this conversion a couple months later? It. Yeah, I can't believe it. <laughs> Finally that time. I kept telling him how expensive it was and he was like, no, it's not that bad. And then he kept sending me breaks and then I finally just found a set and I was like, all right, I'm just gonna hop on this. So here we have the Brembos fully painted. We have the rotors. OEM came from the, the seller and these are GS350 rotors that he got drilled for me and I just painted them. And tell him what we need for this install that'll make it complete. So you first need some used ISF brake calipers. And if you're gonna buy them used, you're gonna probably wanna also get the used rear rotors too. But for the front rotors, you have to use 2013 GS350 F-Sport rotors. They're also on the RC 350 F Sports, mm -hmm. not the non F Sport, which are the standard size. These are 356 millimeters radius. These are the ones that lines up to your caliper correctly, that makes these calipers bolt on. Mm -hmm. But there is one thing that you need for this insult, and they are these custom rear brackets that he actually makes just for this conversion. Yep, that's right. With these brackets, you're able to mount these on the knuckle and use these stock points and mount them and bolt them on correctly without any crazy modifications. And there's an example right there in my own car. So this isn't possible without his custom bracket and it's only for the rears. The fronts are direct bolt on, right? Yeah. Perfect. So we can finally go ahead and start this install. It's a hot day today, but we got some Heinekens, some fob beer right here. Let's get this just started. We got the car on jack stands. This shit was the scariest shit ever because I never use jack stands. I always leave it on the jack. Don't hate me for that. I just never do it. Fee's over here taking off the wheels. All right, done yet? Shit. Fob boys. Fob that bit. Hi, again. Um, yo. Fronts are easy, bolts on. Sweet. In the back, we have to cut the dust shield a little bit, bolt everything else on, but we should be roughly done within an hour. And it should be good from there. Guys, this is the reason why you want to do this upgrade. Look at how tiny those are. <laughs> That's tiny dick energy right there. <laughs> we need to bend the dust shield a little bit. Yeah, that looks better already. So for the 250s, our dust shield rubs against the rotor. So we have to push it back, bend it, just to make sure it clears. You have to clear your wheels. Imagine if they don't clear, holy shit. Return. Content. I feel kind of useless because I'm not doing anything, but for the next front one, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bend that shield. All right, so I'm gonna bolt these little fat boys on. Moment of truth. God damn, that already looks so cool. You know what's crazy? I've waited 15 years to be a BBK boy. <laughs> Joy on! You guys know watching Fast and the Furious, you see all these crazy ass parts and you think it's just all for looks, but it's actually performance. And for all you guys that are gonna hate saying, why are you doing this on a slow ass car? Supercharger will come in the future. I'm serious, this shit's gonna come. Like I'll probably do that before I get another car for like a project. It's not gonna come soon. I'm just saying in the future, I'm just letting you guys know. Even if I wasn't going to do the supercharger, who, who wouldn't want braking power anyways? Dude, 
Ooh, this looks so good already. I know we just started, but thank you for making my dreams come true. <laughs> All right, guys, we just removed this caliper. It had some brake fluid come down there, so we caught it. If you guys don't know, brake fluid eats up paint, so make sure it doesn't get on your new caliper or whatever it is you're doing. Just try not to get it anywhere. Hell yeah, bootleg ISF. Where's that V8? Once we're done with this side, I'll show you guys everything, and then we're gonna hit the rears because we're trying to get this done as soon as we can because it's just gonna get hotter. This rotor is stuck, but thankfully, Fee knows a good trick on how to get this undone. Did you learn this from your dad? No, per factory manual, you just gotta stick these little screws in here. I believe the M10, 1.25, put them in there, pushes the rotors out. Yeah, that's a four year old car. So. Oh shit! Yeah, it pushes it out of the hub. It's kind of like a, kind of like a steering wheel puller almost, like the opposite. Yeah. So we're gonna do this again, bend this back as far as we can so it can clear. Hopefully I bent this one enough, but if not, we'll go back into it. What the fuck? Give me the shit. Mmm. I thought you got strawed, man. Save the turtles. Fuck. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna do something. Cool. Oh, you got one more. I know, man. Nice. BBK, BBK game. It's good, right? Smooth? All right, yeah, yeah, yeah shoot, shoot it in. So much better. Stick the gun in. That's all this is not thread, so you don't cross thread. Oh, shit, man. You gotta watch out with the fucking fly in your face. Game over. GG. There you go. Spins, no dust shield, nothing. How do you feel? Feel like a man? Feel like a mechanic? Feel like a Vietnamese mechanic? Yep. Now, I think what we should do is open up a nail salon. Huge shout out to Quick Stop Pro over in Riverside. They were the only shop that was able to do these ISF style drills because no one, no one here in the valley at least, would do it at all. Everyone was quoting me like four or 500 bucks and some of them were even saying like, we don't want to do it because we don't want to be held responsible in case anything goes wrong. But V knew that this could be done because he's got it done to his and it's held up. Huge shout out to him for giving me the best price and just being able to do it. If you need anything brake related, you can go to him. He'll do whatever it is you want. He'd probably even do like some cool designs on it. Cool too. designs, penis. He did. I'll put his Instagram in the link in the description. So definitely check it out and anyone can have this. So. Mm -hmm. I also wanted those to match the OEM ISF ones and I also didn't just want to like go out and buy drilled ones because they're not going to match that pattern and he was able to match it just gave him a template and he absolutely killed it what do you guys think so far that shit actually makes a huge difference you know the normal human is just going to be like oh this is brakes it's not a big deal nope this is going to change the look of my wheel a little bit more it is going to look fat like that Jesus mm. Ah, fucking break time. Time again. This is gonna be fun. Yeah. This is where this comes into play, and I can't freaking wait to use these. These are quality right here. Fee, where can they get this? You can get it at my website, 350fee.com. Oh. I have a little web store in there. You can find it on eBay. You can message me on Instagram. All the info for this, if you guys wanna tackle this conversion, in the description below. I'm telling you, this conversion is not possible without this, and he is the only one who sells them. Hit up my guy. 350 Fee. <laughs> We're gonna test fit to see if this clears. I know it'll clear because that's one of the reasons why I bought these BBSs. But let's just make sure before we continue and just fuck ourselves over. Oh yeah! Oh! Dang. Holy shit, that makes a big ass difference. Wow. That's a lot more than I thought. Like the rotor, even the rotor size fills it out a lot more. Also guys, if you don't have any knowledge on how to do this, the best part about buying Fee's custom brackets is that he went out of his way and made, this looks like a 20 page set of instructions. Literally has every single thing you need. Step by step, certain fabrications you'll have to do, whatever it may be. Literally pictures fully color printed. He even has a template where you're supposed to grind the rear of the caliper for clearance. Yeah. So you have to grind right there so then the the bracket fits, but he has all of that right there for you. Head to the freaking website. I'd like to show you guys my book report on how to change your brake calipers. He didn't even need to take his SATs, he just sent this in, got it into Yale. So the rears, we're doing the same thing. We are removing the rotor, going to cut the gun shield. I honestly should have painted this, and he told me to, but fucking lazy. I've been painting for the last two weeks. I don't want to paint anymore. So we're just cutting off the edge. Yeah, but look. That's 
get it. Guys, no matter what, wear protective gear when working on your car. All right guys, V came in clutch. So since this rotor is way bigger, that dust shield was pretty much around the OEM one, which is really small. You have to cut it off just so this will fit. I don't think I'd be able to do this without him. I guarantee any of you guys can do it because he does have detailed instructions. But this is just, this is way out of my ball game. This is the exciting part. I want to see how this bracket works. All right guys, we got the custom bracket on. That thing looks nice. I like using Loctite, you don't have to. I just do in certain bolts. The reason why you don't have to, because these are OEM Lexus bolts. They already have these little teeth marks, so when you torque it down, it will grind right into the knuckle. But you're just doing it to, to be safe. Yeah, Go. Insurance. yeah, this man has it all figured out for you. You just gotta do it and find those, those calipers. This shit is no joke. If I didn't have three here, none of this would be possible. So here's how the real one looks. Fucking fire. So you just shave off all that. Now we're good to put the custom bracket on this side. Torque everything down, bleed the brake fluid, and should be good. Super excited. All right, guys, just torqued everything down. Too old for this shit. We're too old. So now we got BBK, BBS. Now all I need is a BBC. Fuck yes, finished bleeding. This dude had so many Heinekens, he needed a pee so bad. <laughs> so now we're just gonna wipe everything down and put the wheels back on, drop it, and we are done. Holy shit. Dude, thank you again for this install. Without your bracket, without your knowledge, without even you coming up with this idea, this wouldn't be possible. So a problem that I didn't think was gonna happen, but this shit always happens to me. It doesn't clear the rear brake calipers. So we're gonna head over to AutoZone and O'Reilly's and hopefully they have like a five, 10 mil spacer. I think we only need five, but we're gonna eyeball it right now and see, but it definitely hits and there's no way we can fit it without a spacer. Um, your uh, BBS wheels do not clear the rear ISF calipers. So uh, we're SOL, your car is gonna be sitting on jack stands until <laughs> some spacers show up tomorrow from Amazon. <laughs> So we're gonna order 10 millimeter spacers. We went to a couple shops, they didn't have it. I already kind of knew this was gonna happen, so I don't know why I didn't prepare and order spacers beforehand. Fuck it. Looks like this video is gonna get finished tomorrow. All right guys, it has been a few days and there's an issue that we ran into, so I'm probably gonna have to end the video here. But basically, we put on a 20 mil spacer because a 10 millimeter wouldn't work without extended lugs and a 15 mil would poke out a little too much. And my BBSs don't have super hollow holes in the back to be able to fit those spacers. So we put a 20 and this thing is freaking sticking out so much. I can't drive it at all. Definitely can't drive it because of this side. It's rubbing like crazy. My finger doesn't even fit. On the bright side, it looks pretty fucking tight. I'll at least show you guys the BBKs. We have the Brembo there and it clears we have Brembo's here, and I absolutely love the way this looks. It makes such a huge difference. I hope you guys really like the BBK as much as I do. Thank you so much, Fee, for helping me out and giving me the idea for this conversion. I am so hyped on it, minus the fact that I can't drive the car. And I'm so sorry that I couldn't get you guys rollers. I'll do that for the next video because we ordered some SPC camber arms and I also got smaller tires just in case. But I think what we're gonna do is just camber the fuck out of this, see how that looks, see how that drives, if it clears, and we'll go from there. Hopefully that next video, we will be able to showcase the brakes and I'll give you a full review on them. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoy. The link to Fee's custom bracket will be in the description below. I will put everything down there and all you're gonna have to do is just find some used ISF calipers. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will catch you guys in the next video. And don't forget, it's always better to look good than to feel good.